Today, I want to go over my pet's bug out bags. Yes, my dogs do have bug out bags. Now, I know most of you who have pets will agree that pets are family too. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I had something um, ready to go for them because of course in an emergency, your pets are gonna require things too, like food and water and all of those things. And it's good to just have something on hand for them, you know, just as we would for ourselves and for our children um, and just get something together for them. Now I have two dogs, Harley and Coco. So of course, each of them have their own bug out bags, but the only difference between them is that Harley's bag carries the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket. It's only an extra pound, but Coco's a little older and Harley is a lot younger. And of course, she's a German Shepherd, so she's more than capable of carrying the extra pound on her. Now the bags are exactly the same. Both of them have the same items except for the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket that Harley carries for both of them. The bag that I bought for both of my dogs is the One Tigress Saddle Bag. And I actually really love this bag. It's very sturdy and you definitely um, have a lot of room to pack a lot of things. So let me show you guys what I have in here for them. Harley carries two BPA-free collapsible water canteens. Now, these collapsible bottles are really great. I believe the maker is Tap, and um, it is a really great bottle, actually. It's really, it's really, really sturdy, even though it's so flexible. And it also has these carabiners here, so it can be attached to the outside of her bag if need be but these are actually right now being carried inside one in each side and i also love that these come in two different colors and i can use one of them for their dirty water and to use with their aqua tabs which i also have in the bag for them just because i don't want them drinking dirty water and you know filled with bacteria and them getting sick so I really like that I could keep one of the bottles as their clean water canteen and the other as their dirty water canteen. And this is enough for two days for them, but they can always be refilled on the way. For food, I carry um, enough for two days for them as well. And it could really be stretched out a little bit more, but I definitely want to make sure that they have enough calories too. So I also added these chicken and gravy pouches and, you know, just like some wet food over here to mix in with their dry food. So they get a little bit of more calories during the day. They're going to be walking just as much as I am. So I definitely want to make sure that they have extra calories just as I would for myself. And I also have one treat right there i'm gonna add one more for them just for them to have but right now it's just like a rawhide treat for them for when we whenever we you know set up camp or whatnot and um, they can have that as well i also carry these treats for them um and that's enough for two for two days and just i wanted to have a couple of um extra treats for them and not necessarily carry so many so in order for them to eat and drink, I have these Serene Pet Collapsible Bowls. Now these are great. I had to find an alternative for feeding them just because I needed something that didn't take up so much space in their pouch. And these are perfect because they are collapsible. And they also have clips here that the carabiners attach to the outside of their bags. So I definitely love these. And they do have these, I believe, in a smaller um, version for smaller pets. Now my pets are bigger, so of course these are in the size large, but you can also buy them in different sizes. Now, as I mentioned, um, Harley does carry this Snug Pack Jungle Blanket for her and Coco, and this is gonna be great to keep them warm, you know, just to keep them off the ground as well. This used to be in my bug out bag, but since I upgraded my sleeping system, this became their blanket. Now, if I were to lose this blanket, I actually do have this um, emergency survival blanket for them. And you know what, you guys? This is the only one I found that was in camo. 
all of the other ones were um, in like these other colors I didn't really like um, but these came in a pack of five and so a few of them um, went into my bug out bags and my um, EDC and two of these went into um, Harley and Coco's bags so they each have one now I know I'm probably gonna get some grief from you guys because of this uh, this is a dog poncho yes a dog poncho <laughs> it actually is really a great material I love the fact that it came in camo because everything else I found for dogs out there for brain um, ponchos were really like high bright colors pinks and yellows and reds and I definitely wanted to get something that was more low-key for them um, and I mean I'm sorry but we're just not those type of girls <laughs> we are all about the green and the uh, camo so I wanted to get that for them as well just in case we were to get into like a rural environment um, and we wanted to um, keep them dry as well because there is nothing worse than having a wet dog in your camp I'm just saying they the smell and it's it's just a mess so <laughs> as a pet owner I believe you guys um, would agree with me that there's nothing worse than having a wet smelly dog trying to lay with you in your sleeping bag um, that's just not gonna happen so I wanted to have a solution for them and I did invest in this one um, it was like 20 bucks now it is you know like definitely gonna come in handy um, for years to come so I'm very glad that I got it it is very durable and it actually does come with a hood <laughs> um, so it's like a hoodie poncho for them as well I definitely wanted to make sure that I had an option for them now if you don't have a poncho <laughs> like me for your dogs you can always use like a construction crate garbage bag um, and then just cut a hole in the you know corner and then a hole for their paws and then just put them through <laughs> you know just improvise I'm pretty sure you guys are hella clever now you guys can definitely find other ways to keep your dogs dry but I did want to invest in the poncho for them and yes I do have that and here I have a solar and hand crank flashlight. This is from the company. Oh my God, there's dog hair on it. Of course, if you're a dog owner, you know that there's dog hair everywhere. Um, <laughs> now this is uh, solar. So I really love the fact that I don't need to um, use batteries for it. Also comes with, you know, the carabiner in the back. Um, this is from the brand Mecca or Mecco, sorry, but um, it is hand crank as well, just in case I do want to make sure that I have some light for them. And this actually just hangs right off of their collar. So I also, you know, have a way of seeing them at night if they happen to get, you know, loose from the um, leash or anything. I have this and this also helps to shine the way for them um, as they're walking. So hopefully we have a better view as we're walking and it'll prevent us from getting injured. And I definitely wanted to make sure that I had an option for a flashlight for them. It's really light. And here I do have this leather muzzle for them. I have one for each of the dogs now in an emergency not just may you need them to be quiet but when an animal is stressed and you know it feels threatened especially in a bug out scenario I definitely want to make sure that both people and my dogs are protected and that nothing happens to them to me or to another person so I do have these now the muzzle is also going to come in handy <laughs> for these doggy masks. Now, <laughs> don't laugh at me, you guys. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Um, yes, I have a, a mask for my dogs. Now, we have a mask for ourselves, and if there's a lot of dust or debris, I definitely wanted to have an option for them. This is not um, specifically for dogs. This is actually for children. I got them at Kaiser. <laughs> 
I just took them from the front, you know, from the sitting in the waiting area, but it is for a child. So it's, an, it's actually enough for them and it is flexible here. Now, what I would do is um, take these um, straps here and put them through the leather strap of the muzzle and then just place it on the inside and then put the muzzle on them and it would act as a mask um, and, you know, as a filter for them to breathe in a little bit of clean air instead of having to breathe all that stuff in. So I definitely wanted to have an option. I didn't know um, where to get like a dog <laughs> mask. So this is what I went with. I also carry a copy of their vaccinations and microchip information as well as just any other information that I want to have for them. Emergency contact, those, just those things. I definitely want to make sure that I have that on me just in case there is a need for it. And it's just always good to have. You never know when you're going to need things like this. So they carry a copy and I also carry a copy in my own bug out bag. Up here, I also have this little <laughs> fire hydrant, but it's um, just their, their doggy bag for whenever they go to the bathroom. I don't want to leave it lying around either, so I can bag that up. And here I have two extra clips. These are for in case one of the clips in their bags breaks, so one in e goes in each side of the bag. It's just for an extra backup. So I actually didn't purchase these. I got them um, off of another backpack that was falling apart and I took the clips off and I just kept them. And I'm just gonna reuse them for that just in case I need them because the clips were not broken. So why not reuse them and you know, just repurpose them. And here I have Harley's dog shoes. <laughs> She's barely getting used to them. I just bought it for them. They are really, it's really funny to watch her try to walk in them because she's not used to them yet. Um, getting her used to them little by little. But I definitely want to make sure to protect their paws. These came um, and they're very durable and I was actually really surprised at the quality. And uh, the straps are adjustable. And even though it's soft, in here I put their socks. <laughs> yes, my dogs have socks. I'm just saying I wouldn't want to be walking around in shoes with no socks on, so I don't want them to have to either. Now, dogs don't really have a lot of options for socks, and the ones that I found were really expensive, so I actually decided to buy some baby socks for like an infant. <laughs> so um, I know it's, you know, it may be a different shape than their paws, but it's at least something that's going to put a filter between them and the shoe so that it's not rubbing on the inside you know they can get like calluses and stuff too or like you know like blisters as well so I wanted to have an option for them and the dog socks I found were like extremely expensive so I wasn't gonna spend all that money on a pair of socks I think they were like 25 bucks so I <laughs> ended up spending like ten dollars on six packs of baby socks i think actually there were eight so um i got it i had enough for both of them and here i have an extra pair for them i also keep an extra pair for myself so i keep an extra pair for my dog and just in case i know you guys are gonna give me grief about this too <laughs> But I, like I said, my dogs are my babies, so I do invest um, into my dogs and buying them things uh, that most people don't necessarily buy some of their pets. But I'm pretty sure you guys would agree with me that protecting their paws is really important. So I'm really trying to train her to wear these. So, so also when we go hiking and we go camping, she's going to be wearing these to protect her paws so that she doesn't end up with um, any injuries just from the hike. Now, speaking of injuries, I do have a very small emergency kit for them. <laughs> I do. Yes, I do. Don't laugh. In here, I actually carry an old backpack Velcro strap. This would really come in handy if I need to make them a splint 
or anything like that just in case you know they hurt themselves i have you know these little tongue suppressors here for them they're also for children <laughs> once again i got this at kaiser thank you guys <laughs> hey i pay a lot for my health insurance okay so i don't i don't think they would mind that i took two freaking well four <laughs> tongue suppressors but i would improvise and use those as a splint if they got injured or whatnot or you never know what you can use it for but this is fairly light and i can use it for multiple things and also use it as a tourniquet so i wanted to make sure i had an option which now i do and like i said i'm all about repurposing items and this just came off of an old backpack that i threw away because it was all ripped and this was in good condition so i took it off and just reused here I have some wraparound gauze just to have, like I said, if they have an injury or whatnot. But in the pack as well, I also have like a, a small pair of like stitches. These are like the practice sutra stitches. Um, I got them online and I really wouldn't necessarily try to do this to my dog, but you never know if you have an emergency or if um, they have an emergency and I definitely don't um, condone <laughs> you treating yourself but if you are on um, a hike and far away from any medical services and you need to do this to yourself or your pet I mean I rather save my dog like I'm just saying so I don't condone it but like I said I definitely do have it as an option and here I have a pair of latex gloves. So if they're bleeding as well, I can protect my hands. Or if um, for some reason my animal were to get lost or, you know, se get separated from me and they got injured, that someone that found them would be kind enough to, you know, treat their wounds. And I just wanted to make sure that they had an option. And here I also keep two rubber um, tourniquets that I can also use, like I said, if I needed to wrap the gauze around. For some reason, this was being used on something else. Um, or just to, you know, secure down for the splint. I mean, there is plenty of things that you can use these uh, rubber tourniquets for. So I do have these. This is just some sterile gauze. Uh, just good to have. You guys know what it's for. Now, these are actually um, just like this basic nail file and <laughs> a, a, a little piece of an old Swiss army knife package that I got a long time ago that I never actually really used. So these I leave in their bag. This actually goes right in here. I just wanted to show it to you guys, but it does get placed into the, um, into the bag here once it's all collapsed. But, um, I like the fact that these have some small clippers if I need to like trim some of the gauze or anything um, or maybe like something got stuck into their you know into their paw and I can just yank it out or whatever you always have an option and um, the nail file you know of course dogs have nails <laughs> so um, I definitely wanted to have an option for them which I'm really glad like I said I repurpose things all the time since I don't use the other multi-tool anymore, this became Harley and Coco's. They each have one. And here I do have some dog shampoo. Like I said, if dogs get wet or they get dirty and you just wanna wash off their paws or whatever, you can do that with this. And I do keep some Benadryl. Now I did ask my vet if dogs could have Benadryl and he said it was fine for like any allergic reactions I mean dogs have allergies too you may never know when you may need it so um, I do have this small amount of Benadryl in there as well as um, now this is a small like plunger and a syringe without the needle this came in her pain um, medicine when I got her spayed and I mean, why not reuse it? I, you know, rewashed it really good. And I kept that just in case I needed to use it to give her a dose of Benadryl because um, on the other side of here, it does have the milligrams and everything and you don't want to like give your dog too much. So I asked what is enough to give, 
you know, Harley and what her dosage is, as well as Coco for her weight and, you know, her size. So they told me, um, how much to use and I marked it on to the syringe. So I do have that as an option. And in this little pill container here, this actually just came with the um, buffered aspirin that I got for my dog. Like I said, always consult your vet um, before giving your dog any medications. But I did ask mine what I could give my dog for um, pain medication because you never know when they get hurt, of course. You know, you don't want them like poor things suffering or anything. So I got them some buffered aspirin. Now these pills are actually really small and um, I only carry enough for like four doses in here, one per dose. So I guess um, I would have enough for two days. Um, and this is just like one every eight to 12 hours for pain um, reduction. And like I said, don't give your dog anything if you don't know if they're allergic to it and without asking your vet first if it's okay. These are specifically for Harley and Coco's size, weight, and I know how much to give them. So um, I have that in here for two days. A recent addition to our bug out bags is this Mount Flow microfiber towel. Now this is super light and small weight. I bought two of these, one for myself that I carry in my own bug out bag and this one is actually going to be placed inside of the snug pack jungle blanket that Harley carries. I'm going to put this wrapped inside of the snug pack jungle blanket and then shove it into the compressed pouch so that it can go on the inside and Harley will carry this for Coco and herself just in case like I said if they get wet or if you get wet the last thing you want to do is not have a way to get dry or get them dry before you set up camp and this is going to come in really handy because like I said it is super lightweight it is very soft very comfortable and it dries super fast it's microfiber so all you have to do is hang it up and maybe in about 30 minutes it's actually already dry it is super lightweight and very easy to dry which is why I went with a microfiber towel so I really love this and it is really really light so you can also use this as a secondary um, layer underneath for your shelter just to provide another layer in between us and the floor and build in some insulation but like I said this is multi-purpose super lightweight and not very doesn't and doesn't take up very much space at all so I am really in love with it. The only con to the microfiber is the fact that it literally draws everything like a magnet. So if you drop it on the floor, it's really hard to get little twigs and things like that to come off of it. So my only suggestion with this is that you make sure you keep it off of the floor. And if you are going to use it as an insulation layer to put it on top of another item um, like inside of your sleeping bag or on top of the blanket for your pets because if you get it dirty and you drop it it is really going to be hard to get things out of it but it is still really useful and the last and final addition to their bug out bags are these adorable pet IDs and tags. I got them from Tags for Hope, an organization that helps um, animals in need. And I really love them. You can add your own details to them. An actual ID, it is the same as an ID. You actually add their address, the phone number, their details, what they look like, and even a picture. So it is super cute. I really love it. I think it was a great investment for them. The wallet ID is going to go into their actual bug out bag. And of course, their tags will go on their collar. And they both have the same information. They're very durable. The tags are very, very thick and durable. And they have 